Okay, hello today I'm just going to show you how to make um, golden powder. Now, I'm just, excuse me for already having the stuff in the pan. Um, I just um, had a bit of a problem with the last batch. It wasn't working so well. So I just went ahead and I forgot. Yeah, let me just, I just said, you know what, I'll go make another video. Anyway, so now I basically have this working and everything. Letting it get all ready. And I'll be right back with something else that I need to put in it. I forgot to put. Let me, excuse me for a minute. So, you know, now, just stirring this right now. So you might be able to see that now it's starting to get kind of like a yellowish color to it. So I left the ingredients and everything and the amount that you use in the last video's description. And like my why I haven't been on YouTube for a while and other things. And um, basically I showed the description in the description how much you need to use and the proportions. So right now it's kind of like a follow up in a sense. I'm just showing you how to make it. Those are the proportions that I got the best reaction out of. Yeah, sorry about the TV in the background. So right now I'm just still stirring up the mixture and everything. So Yeah, so basically, what you want to do is make sure everything's stirred up, crack open some of the pills, because um, there's a certain brand that I had happened to buy by, ac buy by accident that, I th that was cheaper, so I was like, oh, this might 
as ascorbic acid, and I get um, a good buy, but uh, not very good. So I might have to edit this video a little because um, it's already five minutes and not even the entire, like, I don't even think it's gone down halfway yet. So, but we're going to just keep stirring it. Something, if you saw that, something had just burnt on the side of my pan. Might have been this. But if you saw that on the camera, you, or if you heard that little sound, that was the sound of golden powder burning. So you want to be very careful with this, because this can be very dangerous. So I mean, I might make, since this video has gone on for about 6 minutes and two, 22 seconds, and um, it's not even all the way boiled yet, I'm, I'm going to make another, either I'm going to edit this video and put in the burn rates on this one, or I might just make another video with the burn rates in them, and um, showing you the burning, so yeah. Now the bubbles, at a certain point, should start to get a golden color to them. So now you want to turn it down a little. So a little trick that you can actually do to make it boil down faster is you can do little stirs on the side of the pan. And um, what happens is when you do that, it makes the water a bit slimmer relative to the pan. So then it boils the water for that short amount of time a bit quicker. Now that won't really make much of a difference right now since there's so much water. But um, that's just a little trick that I like to do. Feels like it builds away quicker. That's probably because I'm preoccupied with something. So, yeah, But right now, just letting it sit there. It hasn't quite completely done everything yet, but almost there. So, um, it's taking a while, but, uh, it, it, hopefully it's going to be worth it, and it should be worth it, so. Okay, this might be a good batch. I'll put a little bit more of the recycled ascorbic acid in here. So now it's starting to get thicker, and since this isn't dissolving, it doesn't show any signs of dissolving, I'm going to try to rapidly get them out, so that way it won't mess up our burn rates. 
for our yield. So this is about the time where you should start using your big daddy spoon or a spoon that's a bit bigger. But so that way you can stir it a bit more thoroughly. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll just stir it. So at this point you should get a piece of aluminium ready and you should turn down the heat a bit. So just get it. Get your aluminium. have to get like a better camera or like a camera that has like a stand. That way it'd be a bit easier to um, take videos and still do what I need to do. Because this is some pretty dangerous stuff that you have here. So you definitely do not want this sticking to the pan. So I suggest getting a non-stick pan or something like that. Because if you have sticking while you're still cooking this, you're probably in for a lot of trouble. You're like in a lot of trouble if this starts to stick while you're moving it around the pan. That's why I'm able to like um, pretty much dry my powder inside the pan before I take it out. Because I use a non-stick pan. If this were a regular pan, I wouldn't be able to do this. I'd probably have my, like my eyebrows blown off or something. So now you just take it and you put it on your aluminium to sit there and cool. And then I guess we can. And if this doesn't burn too well, you know the this is a different type of ascorbic acid that I use in this one, so it may not burn too well because of that. Yeah. It's not burning like that because um, because it's not a good mixture. See, but it should burn much faster than that. But then, yeah. Um, in another video, I'll show you one with some better um golden powder. Bye, see ya.